Hey guys, it's Michelle. Um, so today I wanted to answer um, all the questions you guys have sent me in the past like week. And, uh, but first, I had a job interview today with um, a store called Wet Seal that's at the mall. And it went really, 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 really well. They seemed to really liked me. Everything I said seemed to be perfect. My availability is awesome for them. And um, it all went really well. At the very end of the interview, they, um, and they were like, so you want to talk a little bit about why uh, you, you know, why Walmart let you go? And I didn't plan on mentioning this even a little bit in the interview, but I was like, well, I'm transgender and I'm not saying that's why, you know, I, you know, was fired, but I definitely had some problems with a couple of the manager, da 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 da. And they didn't seem to have a problem problem with me being transgender um they're like okay next step is we're gonna call your references so it seemed to have gone really well I don't think they were being judgmental they were like you know younger women uh you know it's wet seal I assume if they're gonna hire like a gay guy I didn't I haven't seen any gay guys there but if they're gonna hire a gay boy then why not hire a trans girl so actually let me show you what I'm wearing first of all I got my nails done um my friend did them last night she was like let me do your nails I'm like all right so they're cute, I guess. I never do my nails or my toes. I might start. I don't know. It's pretty cute, right? <laughs> uh, I never will wear jewelry either. But I figured um, for an interview, I wet seal it might as well. So let me show you what I'm wearing. I hear that they highly encourage like layering and jewelry. And they have this like eight piece rule where like you should be wearing eight different pieces of clothing. So anyway, here's what I'm wearing. I'm gonna take this off actually because it's so freaking hot. I have a little cardigan, this dress, with some tights and some flats. It's pretty fall, but you know, I want it to be professional um, while still being girly. Take this crap off. Oh my god, I hate jewelry. Like, mainly bracelets just because I cannot stand them like making noise all day. All right, let me just take this cardigan off as it is a million degrees out. I'll leave my necklace on for you okay okay so yeah my interview went great I have another interview tomorrow at um, Victoria's Secret <laughs> and I do know that they have a gay guy working there so they shouldn't have any problems with me being all different stuff okay why do I feel so thick right now I'm not thick I think it's because of where the waist is. Anyway, I'm not gonna worry about it because you guys know, you guys have seen videos of me. I'm not, I'm not that thick. Okay, let me go ahead and answer your questions. First question is, how did you pay for facial feminization surgery and who was your surgeon? Uh, my surgeon was um, Dr. Zukowski in Chicago. Um, how did I pay? Well, in all honesty, my parents helped out a whole bunch and um, I got a loan from the bank and I make monthly payments. Um, yeah, that's how I'm paying for it. Uh, do you smoke cigarettes and or anything else? I do not smoke cigarettes. I do not smoke cigarettes. I don't, I, I don't know what else you could smoke that would be legal. Um, so of course I don't smoke those things, especially when I am looking for a job. So. <laughs> <laughs> if that answers your question. Uh, how did you get an exception from everyone around you? Um, to be quite honest, uh, I, I was just myself. Um, and most people, in fact, almost everybody in my life responded positively to that. I didn't get a lot of flack for being transgender. Um, I'm very lucky, very blessed. Uh, I know it's not the case for everyone, but... Um, you know, there, there have definitely been people who were very uncomfortable with it and unsure, but as long as you continue being you and, you know, showing them that this is who you are, then it should be good. Because as soon as you start to doubt yourself, you know, then they'll feel like you're being fake and it's just, you know, it's just a huge mess. So just, just do you. And if, if someone isn't fine with you being you, then that's their problem, not yours. Um... Uh, after hormones, how often do you need to shave your legs? This is completely um, based on your hair growth 
in your body and how often you really even want to shave your legs. Um, before hormones, I would, before hormones, I wouldn't shave my legs all the time because it was such a hassle, but, um, I shave them about once a week. I would like to shave them two times a week. Problem is my legs are very sensitive. And because I'm fair skinned and have dark hair, every follicle on my body is visible, or at least it is to me. So if I get razor burn, I swear it's like everywhere and it's, and it's awful and red and it sticks out. So there's like a three day period every week where I don't really show off my legs because they're not quite ready to shave. But, and so, but they're not like, they're not like, I can't show them off because they're not, they're not smooth. Um, but I mean, yeah, it just depends on your legs and the hair on them and it's different for everybody. Um, yeah, I hope that answers your question. Um, is your sex drive really smashed to pieces after some time on hormones. No, it is not smashed to pieces. I am still a very horny little girl. And, uh, <laughs> um, but I will say that your sex drive does change. It does go down because you are reducing testosterone in your body. Um, but I wouldn't say that it, it's gone. It, it, it's not gone. It's, it's changed a little bit. It's much more mental. Before hormones, I would say I was more physically driven. Um, you know, I thought a lot about, um, I thought more about guys as physical objects as opposed to the ways that they mentally and emotionally kind of stimulate me. I'm much more susceptible to mental and emotional st stimulation than I am physical. Although physical is very important. Like, I'm going to tell you right now, an awesome beard and some chest hair and some nice big muscles has me real quick, <laughs> real quick. But the idea of having like a really masculine, um, dominant kind of aggressive guy you know i you know for me the idea of like getting pinned against a wall or being like thrown around in the bedroom or you know thinking about these things thinking about the emotional mental kind of the dynamic of two people in a relationship that's the stuff that turns me on more these days and um i'd say it has a lot to do with hormones but no your sex drive doesn't go away um, or get smashed to pieces. It's still there. It's just different. And it takes some getting used to. Um, it is harder to get it up. I mean, like, it's not impossible. I mean, like, I still masturbate on the regular. Not that you guys need to know that, but now you do. Um, you lose the ability to ejaculate, um, which has its benefits. And, you know, it's, what's the opposite of benefits? it also has its bad sides like there's no cleanup that's awesome but you also lose an element to an to your orgasm uh there's not a big finish um i will i will say it does take away a little bit from the orgasm but i i, I still climax and stuff it's still good stuff um you just have to work at it more it's no long you can't it's really hard to just do a quickie Anyway, enough about masturbating and getting off. Um, what do you do when you have to go to the bathroom to do a number one? What do I do when I have to pee? Um, <clears throat> well, when I'm in public, I like, you know, using a public bathroom, I will sit because I don't want anybody noticing my feet facing the toilet if I was standing up in the girls' bathroom. Um, but when I'm at home, I will usually stand just because it's so much easier. Um, sometimes when I don't want to take the effort to aim <laughs> or whatever, I'll sit. You know, usually if I'm a little drunk or if I'm really tired, I'll just sit. Um, but yeah, standing is easier, so I stand most of the time. Sorry to burst your bubbles if that is a turn off to you or whatever. Stop thinking about me peeing. <laughs> Uh, will tucking prevent your member from sporting wood? I mean, yes, in the sense that if you are tucked, you can't really get a hard on because everything is all twisted and what have you. Um, but over time, if you're asking if over time if tucking is going to prevent you from getting an erection, I don't think so. I haven't 
had problems. Your biggest contender is going to be hormones. That's what's going to make it harder to get, you know, hard. But I really haven't had problems with that. Um, I don't have a whole lot of, like, sex experience, so I can't really say how well it holds up in the bedroom, but for just me in my private time, it seems to do just fine. <laughs> Why do we keep talking about this? It just, I can't get away from this subject. Okay. What are some of your favorite places to shop for clothes? Um, a lot of places at the mall. So I love Wet Seal. You know, I love Target. I love Target. They always have, or not always, but a lot of times they'll have really cute stuff and it's really affordable. It's great. Um, Maurice's has cute stuff. Um, JC Penny. Um, if I really want like a nice dress, Dillard's. I love going downtown to little boutiques and stuff. Um, we have a store called Breeze. That's actually where I got this dress. I love dresses and I love boutiques. Um, for shoes, I, it's difficult. I usually go to like Payless. I get really basic shoes. Um, uh, it's like shoe department sometimes has stuff. Usually, like, really nice shoe stores aren't going to carry in my size. I, I wear, like, a 10 or an 11 um, in women's. Um, but sometimes you can find cute stuff there. I really shop anywhere, really. Um, I'm trying to think of, like, places that a lot of people would know. I don't go to, like, Old Navy. I don't know. I just don't usually find a lot of cute stuff there. Uh, uh, where else? Hmm... Yeah, I'm I'm down for shopping anywhere. If you want to if you want to go on a shopping spree with me, let me know. I'm I'm down. Um Do you find some stores more helpful in assisting you finding clothes that fit your size? Um Usually, you know, um like what like more chain stores like Target or JCPenney they're gonna be a lot easier to find clothes in your size because they pertain to uh, a lot of different people um, you know finding clothes that fit is usually not my problem it's usually shoes and I have issues with that and you know you work around it I hear you can order you know I'm sure there's a couple sites that pertain to you know women with larger feet but I would be hesitant to shop there because I wouldn't, I couldn't like try stuff on and know exactly how it fits. I hear Torrid is good. I actually read that in one of the comments. If you guys are looking for clothes that, you know, might come in larger sizes, you might try Torrid. Um, what else? What else? What else? <sighs> With my nails. Hmm. Do you still recommend getting clothes that are a size too small than you would normally wear? No. Um, I think this was a misunderstanding. Um, get clothes that fit you appropriately. Too small is not flattering. Too big is not flattering. You know, unless it's like an oversized shirt, you know, and it's that style. But you, when what I meant by wearing something uh, a size too small, that, that's underwear. And that's only to keep your tuck in place. Um, but but you know like shirts and dresses and things you know make sure that's that fits you appropriately it's just the underwear that i suggest getting a size smaller than you normally would wear um is there a good way to convert my men's size jeans into women's size jeans um no there's not will <laughs> sorry will women's jeans fit me better or worse if i have no hips yet um you might have an easier time to be honest um, curvier women tend to have the biggest problem with um, finding jeans that fit because their thighs might fit the jeans, but then if it you know, if you're the curvier you are, the harder it's going to be to find jeans that fit because if it fits your thighs and your thighs are this wide, but your waist is this wide, then when you pull the pants up, the waistband will go over the thighs, but then it will be too big around the waist. See what I'm saying? So if you're just straight and narrow, you'll generally have an easier time finding jeans that fit. Um, but if you were like a, a stick straight kind of person, it might be difficult because I think women's jeans are designed to fit a little bit around some curve. But the curvier you are, the harder it is to find jeans. So 
it might be easier for you, but you're just gonna try stuff on and see what you like. Trying, finding jeans in women's sizes is just ridiculous. It's different in every store. You know, there's so many different styles. You never know exactly what's flattering for you, and it just, it's just hit or miss most of the time. So just, you need to um, trial and error. That's all I can suggest. Um, a wide tooth comb. What is a wide tooth comb? Uh, you need like an example of that. Um, I'll show you mine. I hope the camera doesn't mess up when I move. Okay, here we go. Do, 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 do. Gonna take a trip to my bathroom. I'm gonna show you wide tooth comb. Do, do, do. Okay. Enough sing-alongs. Let me show you a wide tooth comb. All right, so in all of my hair videos, and I swear there's like a hundred of them, I say that you should not comb wet hair unless it's with a wide tooth comb. This is a wide tooth comb. See how the comb, the teeth are wide? The other side of this is a normal comb. Don't do that if your hair is wet. This is good for detangling, like just like big chunks of hair, so you're not dealing with like a knotted mess. Um, yeah, that is a wide tooth comb. Those are all my questions. My interview went awesome. I really hope I get this job. I so really hope I get this job. Anyway, guys, that's all I really had to say. I really feel like I look thick in this. I don't even, I don't know. Anyway, that is all I had to say for today. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.